Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We got a Seaforce 500 here that's getting dressed out with a few accessories going on the showroom floor. They just put together this 600 here, nice camo. I love that 600 in the camo. And then we got a U4 600. But this video is about the Seaforce 1000 Overland. And we're gonna be doing a oil change on it with the CF Moto Premium Oil uh, from here at Main Street Cycle. Go to the website www.mainstreetcycle.com and get your kit. It comes with everything that you need to do your break-in oil or your regular oil change uh, in the intervals uh, in your owner's manual. So we're going to show you how to do that and uh, Mr. Joel is going to start changing the oil and we will step you through the process. Alright so we're underneath the Seaforce 1000 and this gives you a good look at this skid plate. Man it is solid. I love it. This is what comes on the overland and uh, it is thick and if you've been watching our trail riding videos we have been using it <laughs> and uh, it's looking good holding up to a lot of abuse so love that feature on the overland 1000 all right so here's your drain bolt right here big opening here in the skid plate it's and a 19 millimeter 19 millimeter break that joker loose and then make sure you have a catch can underneath, oil pan or something to catch all your oil. Just unthread that. There it is. Boy, that looks pretty. So we're going to let that drain. Remember there is a washer that is on the drain bolt and you will get a new washer in your Main Street Cycle CF Moto oil change kit. We got our new washer on uh, the drain bolt and Joel cleaned that off and we finished draining the oil. Now you just screw that in hand tight and then we'll get our torque wrench out and that goes to 18.5 foot pounds of torque. And so just tighten that down. And uh, I do want to say this, if, if you do not feel confident changing your oil on your own, uh, just bring it on into the shop, let the professionals take care of it, and uh, you won't have to worry about it. But hopefully this video will help you. Okay, so now that we torqued our drain bolt, we are now moving to the side panel here, and Joel's gonna show you how to take that off without breaking anything on it. Very front here, this don't, don't yank on this back part. The very front here, you pop loose, slide it back. Okay, it's got these tabs those tabs right there. there, so slide it back. Then you got three yeah. pins three the there, I guess you'd say, in. that are in these rubber grommets. So pop that off, slide it back. All right, so we got the cover out of the way. Here is the cover for your oil filter. And uh, Joel, you said that some people make a mistake and uh, that's not your oil filter. So yep. this is. Anyways. Three eight millimeter bolts. Uh, Boom. Right. And you gotta remember that this is held on by one of them screws there. Remember there's an O-ring on that. Sometimes it'll fall and you'll lose it. Yep. And pull the oil filter out. If you will make a mess, make sure your oil uh, drain pan is underneath the machine. You want to make sure that your machine is clean and uh, that way you don't get any debris or anything, any trash in there where your oil, oil filter goes. Alright, so Joel is taking the oil filter from the MSC CF Moto Premium Oil Change Kit. And, new uh, O-ring. Got a new O-ring in there for you. And that's also where the washer will be for your drain bolt as well. Open in goes in. Every time. Make sure that's good and clean. Put that back on. And you'll be able to start all your three eight millimeter bolts by hand. And don't forget to turn the mission wheel. Yeah. And then the torque spec on these eight millimeter bolts is 7.3 foot pounds of torque. I 
and like I always say, if you're doing this yourself, you don't have a torque wrench, which I suggest you have. If you don't, you can use a quarter inch ratchet and just don't strip these out, okay? Don't go too tight. These, these don't need, that 7.3 foot pounds of torque is very, very small. All right, now we're gonna fill it up with oil. The engine drain plug, which was on the bottom, is on about right here on the motor. And it's got two dipsticks, you don't get that mixed up. But can you get down there and look? Yeah. Yep. There's a sideways plug in there, it's a 17 millimeter. That's your transmission drain. Let me zoom in on that. Yep. Yep, there it is. That right there. That's the transmission drain plug. And this tube right here, this back one, goes straight down to that plug. That's well, this is where you fill your transmission at. Engine drain was on the front and you fill it on the front here. Okay, so don't get those confused, y'all. That's your engine oil up towards the front on this 1000, which is also the same layout as the 800, right? Yep. Okay. Just remember, like he said, if you get confused, you need to look where the drain plugs are. But uh, you can remember that the transmission drain plug is right beside its dipstick. So here we go. Check this out with the CF Moto oil uh, top. It's very neat. Just pop that up. Boom, pull it up. I like and that. If in this case you might be gonna spill it and make a mess, you can also just pop the top. Yeah, either off. way. But if you wanna use the spout that comes with it, you can do that. But Joel's using the funnel here. But I do like that this CF Moto oil has that top feature with that spout on it. So just fill that joker up. You can look in your manual or right here on the sticker and you can see your oil capacity. So it says with the oil filter 2.5 liters. So you can put your uh, two liters in and then put about a half of your third liter and we will crank it up and we will check it and uh, get the right level in it. But again, listen, this oil right here is the best stuff. This is what we recommend, what CF Moto recommends, is this CF Moto Premium Oil. And uh, that's what we put in all of our machines at Main Street Cycle and in our personal units. So this is mine here. Yeah, this is Joel's C Force 1000. And you see that he is putting the good stuff in it. So take the question, the guesswork out of uh, what oil you should run in your CF Moto. This is it. And we have it at Main Street Cycle. So we got the kit, everything you need for your oil change. Just go on the website. You can order that. I showed you how to do that. Actually, Dylan showed you how to do that in the U-Force 600 oil change video. And if you want to refer to that, we stepped you right through how to order on the uh, website, but it's very easy to do. The website's really awesome. Go check out the website, and uh, it's easy to order anything that you need off of there. So now we're gonna turn it over and let it run for a few seconds, get everything flowing good, and saturate the oil filter, and then we will check the level. For leaks. All right, so we just ran it, and uh, now Joel is gonna check it. And listen, always, don't just go by what your manual says. You need to check the level and verify that you have the right amount in it. So use a clean rag, clean that off. And then Joel, you don't uh, screw it in, do you? No, you just they stick say it just straight stick in. it back on, and then you can check the level. It's full. And it's full, so there we go. You probably can't really see that on camera, but I don't know you, you can. Dipstick. Yeah, but, uh, but you can check that, make sure it's right, add a little bit more if you need to, and uh, make sure that you did it right. So uh, that's it, we'll put this cover back on. Put Slide the back it in from the back, shove it forward. Yeah, get them tabs in, and then do the Snaps three in. grommets, snap it in, and you're done. So that's an old change on the Seaforce 1000 Overland. Remember to get your CF Moto Premium Oil right here at Main Street Cycle and run the best stuff so that your machine will last a long, long time. So take care of it, it'll take care of you, as I always say. And uh, remember, get your machines at Main Street Cycle, 
We got uh, a good bit of inventory right now, but they're selling every day. We got the 500s, 600s, a few U4 600s, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more coming in. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. We'd love to see you at Main Street Cycle if you can make the trip. And uh, it'd be cool to meet you and talk and uh, check out all that they have. Or you can just go on the website if you're too far away to make the drive. And uh, we got the best service you could ask for. And uh, they will ship anything you need out to you. Just get with them on the website or you can text the number and talk to one of our parts guys, especially Dylan and Tisha who uh, do all of our parts. So hope that you enjoyed this video. God bless y'all. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.